Okay, I'm just going to show you guys quickly how we do the red dot milling process. Uh, I'll start with kind of the finished product. So there's the finished result. So we'll do, uh, I think I already did one, a couple of these. We'll do this guy right here. We'll do number 917. So uh, we tighten the nut all the way where it needs to be. And then we mark with just a Sharpie. And I really like this, this spot in between the one and the six. I figured it's kind of like the uh, alpha and omega. It begins and ends on the same dot. Um, that's my design, so you have one full rotation. So all we're gonna do is take that off. So give me just a moment here to to enable that off with my other hand as I hold the phone. Okay, so I got that off. So I'm just going to put that kind of here on these little pieces of leather to kind of hold my part. We have a just a little jet kind of hobby lathe. We pick these up for a couple, a couple thousand, I guess, not too much, but. Um, and we have a little pullet here, and it already is turned on. That's that sound you're hearing. I can turn it off. But, um, so I kind of do these in rapid fire. So now I'm just going to line it up, and this pullet is, is designed for this part. I'm going to line it up, and then just kind of bring down my, uh, my, my bit, and make sure it's right on the dot. And then you just clamp this in place like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Sorry if that's kind of jerky. I'm doing this one-handed. So, now I'm going to turn my mill on. And we have a, we have a set depth. My depth gauge is uh, set up to go just the right depth. That's it. My hole's made. I can undo it. Turn that baby off. And you can see the little dimple right there. Let me take it over to a little stone deburring wheel. And the idea is just to kind of smooth that out and I kind of actually put a very small angle on it so you can see the dot a little bit better and then there's a little deburring kind of brush wheel over here make sure there's no burrs on it and then I literally just paint it with some good old Tester's enamel paint this stuff is awesome. Honestly, after it dries, it's super durable. So, uh, easiest way to do that is just a little toothpick. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so it's kind of a little more awkward than I'm used to. she is that's it and then now that's going to go back onto this assembly and I'll go on to the next one let's uh, let put this on so you guys can see it hold on one second got to put the phone down okay tighten it there you are that's how we do it. We got a bunch more to do. Thanks, guys.